Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's a free website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, and anything else we find interesting. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Perfect Eyes, which is a plugin for Photoshop and for Lightroom. And at the moment, at the time of recording, it's actually available for free. And this offer ends on the 1st of January, 2017. So if you're watching this on the day of release, go ahead, go grab it. I'll wait for you, press pause and then we'll come back and we'll look at it together. All right, let's jump in and see what's what. Okay, so here I've got an image all ready to go, and this comes to me from my friend and ex-pupil by the name of Gemma Davis. Gemma is an amazing photographer, does a lot of great stuff in the studio. So I asked her if I could borrow one of her images. So this is one that she sent me, and we're gonna take a look at the eyes here. All right, now if you want to know more about Gemma, there's lots of links available there up on the screen, and also you'll find them wherever you're watching this video. Okay, first of all, let's turn this into a smart object. So I'm gonna go and right click on the background layer there and convert to a smart object. Now this means that I can run perfect eyes as a smart filter, which means I can go backwards and forwards and change it like any other smart filter. Then if I go up to filter and then down to Athen Tech Imaging, you can see that I've got perfect eyes sitting there waiting for me. Now underneath that, you can see perfectly clear complete. Now this has all the plugins all in one, including perfect eyes. So we'll have a look at that one in just a little while. First of all though, let's go to perfect eyes and see what we're getting for no money at all. All right, so the dialog box comes up and there's our perfect eyes. Now, by default, we have these presets. And I'm gonna click on Intelligent Auto and we can see how it affects the eyes and in fact, some of the image. Let's zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, so you can see how it's affecting the eyes from one to the other. There's the before, there's the after. We can also take a look at Morning Coffee, which opens the eyes up a little bit and also gets rid of any darkness underneath the eye. Now, I think in this case, Gemma was looking for a little bit of dark around the eyes. Uh, I think that's maybe a little bit more of a shadow than anything. Brittany has a very good, clear skin, so I don't think there's any issues there. Okay, we can also have a look at Raccoon Eyes, which does a bit more of that black eye removal. Then let's go to High Fashion. And this really sharpens up the eye as well, removes any dark. Then underneath that, we have a good night's sleep, gentle children, natural catch light, which actually great catch lights in this image, so we don't need any of that. And then eagle eyes, nice bit of sharpening there. But nine times out of 10, I'm gonna click on intelligent auto and it's gonna do what I need. Now, I don't have to stick with that because you'll see up where it says presets, just across from that, I've got adjust. So now all those presets were just changing the sliders in here. So I've got complete control over what I want to do. So let's have a look at the eyes down here. So I've got the eye enhance, and I can bring that right up just to show you what's going on here. You can see it really sharpens it. A little bit too much for this image. They were already quite nice and sharp. Let's bring that up just a little bit. There we go. Eye enlarge, and I apologize to Brittany for this, but let's bring that right up and you can see how it enlarges the eyes. But of course, I don't want that down up there at all. In fact, I don't want any of it. They're perfectly fine as they are. Dark circles, again, I think this is purposeful, but let's have a look and see how far we can go with that. There we go, too smooth really, too washed out for this particular image. I can bring that down just to bring back some of the natural darkness there, which works really, really well. Could also add in a catch light. Now, it knows that there's already a great catch light in there, but I could add a catch light should I wish. All right, let's take that off. Now, at the top here, we've got corrections. So if I click on exposure, you can see that it adjusts the exposure for the whole image. Let's zoom back out a little bit. And then we'll bring this up. Now, I can control this with the slider, or I can go to low, I can go to medium, and I can go to high as well. All right. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. There we go, in fact, quite a lot. This was a well-exposed image to start with. The depth, again, this is can be controlled by a slider here. Works really well. It's a bit like adding a fill light, especially when you add in the light diffusion as well. And let's go for, uh, let's go for a high contrast rather than high definition and bring that up. Okay, good. 
And then we've got sharpening, which is for the full image. You can see that's working on the hair and that around there. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. So there we go, we've made corrections to the whole image and to the eyes all in this one plugin. Now, if Gemma had taken lots of photographs of Brittany under the same lighting conditions, I may want to keep this as a preset. I can do that easily enough. I can then go to create and name this anything I like. I'm gonna call it Gemma Davis. And she goes by the name of Photography Duck. There we go. And I could put a description of what I've done in there as well. I'm going to click OK. Oh, I can always come back to that. In the presets, you'll notice that we've got this down here. And at the moment, it's on Gemma Davis Photography Duck. I can come up to Intelligent Auto and any of the others that I fancy. But I can always return to the preset that we just set up. All right, I'm going to click OK. Off it goes, adds this as a smart filter underneath our smart object. To finish this off, what I might do now is just come up to filter and add camera raw filter. And bearing in mind, if I was doing this in Lightroom, I'd just go to the develop module right now. And then I can just change a few bits and bobs that I want to do. I'm actually going to leave those roughly where they are. Then I'm going to maybe take the uh, adjustment brush. I'm going to crop this down, but that little white bit up there is annoying me. So let's bring that right down, exposure right down. Let's take the brush size right down as well. And just paint that in. There we go. And just for make sure, we can take that down as well. Add in a new brush. A little bit less exposure. Big brush. And then I'm just going to paint back here just to give myself a black background. That's a bit too much, so I'm going to raise it off here. There we go. Now I wanted to darken it down a little bit down the bottom. I think it's just a little bit too bright for my liking, for my taste down here. So I might add a little bit of a darkness there as well. So I could get a new brush and just sweep down there just to give it a little bit less light there. And of course, erase it from anywhere that I don't want. There we go. All right, now he's a little bit blown out, but I kind of like that, especially as what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna to go to black and white. I think this works great as a black and white image. There we go. Now, uh, we've got really colourful hair here on Brittany, so uh, let's see if we can't lighten that up a bit. There we go. And we've made a completely different image from where we started, but those eyes are really popping really, really nicely. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. Very quickly, we've completely transformed this image. We've done a nice, quick edit. I'm going to actually turn these two off for now, and then I'm going to go back up to my filter, and then down to... Athen Tech Imaging and Perfectly Clear Complete. And in here we can see where Perfect Eyes fits into the whole thing. So you can see we're on Perfectly Clear Complete at the moment and I can click on Details perhaps and that's gonna bring out some details, fix the darkness, I don't think that's really appropriate here. But we can also beautify plus a bit of a soft skin approach and sharpening the eyes, which is really kind of nice. Okay, if I zip on a little bit, Perfect Exposure, so I can also go to Intelligent Auto there. It'll try and expose that probably, and a little bit of dehaze maybe. Okay, Perfect Eyes, we've already seen. And then Perfect Skin. I'm actually gonna to go to Perfect Skin 2 and click on High Fashion. That's gonna soften the skin up. But you'll notice that Brittany has some uh, natural blemishes on her skin, and these have been kept in just as I like it, so that's great. We don't want to over soften the skin, don't want them all to disappear, because then it's not Brittany. Okay, let's carry on, and we're back to perfectly clear complete. Just as we did before, we can go to adjust. This time you'll notice that we've got far more sliders available to us. So we've looked at eyes, and we've looked at a little bit of the tone, but we've also got color, clarity, and portrait in there as well. So I could go to Eye Enhance and just bring that up and we've got some nice eye sharpening going on. Don't want to enlarge them. Dark circles just a tad. There we go, looking good. Now, we can do the exposure and all that kind of stuff as well. A bit of sharpening. Do we want a bit of vibrancy? Well, not really. We're gonna put this into black and white again. So I'm gonna keep that off. Fidelity is nice. If there was a tint in the image, we could get rid of that too. All in this one plugin works really, really well. I'm going to click OK once again, and we can see that that's then going to be added to our smart object as a smart filter. 
I'm going to drag the camera raw filter up because we've already done the work there. Turn that on and there we go. It's just going to run through that and put it into a nice black and white again for us. But this time, of course, we've softened the skin, done a little bit of sharpening. Okay, I'm going to crop this down. There we go. Something along those lines, perhaps a little bit smaller. There we go. Put her on the line, rule of thirds if I can. There we go. But I want to get much more there, up there. All right, going to have to be a bit of a compromise, I think. There we go. All right. And all my hard work has been done with inside of the plugin from perfectly clear, perfect eyes or the complete package, depending on what you're going for. But don't forget, Perfect Eyes is still available for free at the time of recording until the 1st of January 2017. So get yourself over there and grab a copy. I'd like to thank Gemma again for giving me permission to use her photograph and to Brittany, of course, for allowing her image to be broadcast as well. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to check out all the tutorials over at tipsquirrel.com and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.